Well, I tell you, the love affair with the sea starts at a young age, and I think each of us daydreams about the ocean somehow. We see it in books and in movies, and I came to the point in my life where I wanted to get more of the ocean. I wanted to be near the ocean more. I just feel as though when I'm on the coastline, something restores my soul. Now, those of you who live inland and live in the Midwest and so forth, uh, you probably know the feeling. You get that yearning to go to the coast, to go to an island somewhere and dangle your feet in the surf. And uh, for me, that has found expression in my wanderings up and down the coast. I've taken my paints and sought out the most scenic regions of the California coastline, as well as other parts of the world where the ocean is beautiful. Of course, the California coastline is known for its cliffs. And I recently had the chance to go down to Julia Pfeiffer Beach and paint the dramatic cliff there with a waterfall that actually falls into the ocean. Here's clear water from the stream cascading into the ocean itself. What a marvelous place to set up your easel and set to work. Now, of course, recently I had the chance to go to one of the most beautiful lighthouses on the California coast. It's down near Santa Cruz, California. And that was where I set up and painted with my easel on the edge of the cliffs there. And I realized I had never been up to the actual lighthouse and see what was there. As I went up to it, it's kind of interesting. They have a surfer's museum there because of all the, the surfing tradition that is throughout that bay. Of course, the surfers are all out there in the water surfing away. The light sort of glints off the waves as they come rolling in. It's a beautiful place to spend the day. And I set up my easel right there and recorded a sketch which became the basis of the painting that I want to show you today. This is Victorian Light. This painting begins, of course, with the sky, and we have that sense of mood, of an afterglow, as though the sun has pretty much set, but there's still a little hazy light left in the sky. It's a beautiful time of day, and one that inspires me as an artist, because all the colors get opalescent, what I like to call electric color. It's as though God has plugged the circuit in and charged up the voltage a little, and all the colors seem to radiate all that much more. Now, the Victorian house that you see is completely imaginary. I was working on the painting, and I had the idea, well, why not turn it back to that era of those beautiful Victorian houses? Now, this particular house has beautiful cupolas, and of course, all the little elements of the gabled roof where they put the filigree detail within the cornices makes for a great statement of the carpenter's art. And that was what I wanted to celebrate in this painting. I think everyone loves Victorian architecture and it's reminiscent of a, a simpler, quieter way of living. The broad porches invite you to take a rocking chair and sit and just watch the day go by. I have found over the years that inspiration comes from odd places. I was recently painting a fisherman shack and I was studying the effects of water as the ripples would come in off the horizon and just sort of make their way up to the shore. And as I was working on this, I wanted to capture some of that same gentle sense of water just flowing very slowly. I also love the idea of a fisherman shanty. Uh, it created a sense of architecture clinging to the edge of the water and uh, that was very inspiring for this painting as well. As I worked on Victorian Light, I wanted to get also the sense of charm, you might say, uh, of a house that is nestled on the hillside with the white picket fence and the gazebo. Those were imaginary elements that I couldn't resist putting in. It made it seem like a family home. And uh, of course, I love to paint homes that my children would want to romp through. My children would have all sorts of fun wandering through the lawns and exploring the gardens and of course, playing their imaginary games out on the gazebo. Well, if you've been to my studio before uh, through our video productions, you know that this is a place of the imagination. It's a place where I retreat and let my imagination take flight. Uh, my work as a painter has been not without its struggles. Uh, there's times you feel as though you've run dry and yet going back into the open air, seeking out the beauty of God's creation always recharges me. This is a ministry that's meant to be shared. So each of you who have introduced my work to other people, uh, we do appreciate it so much. And you can rest assured that you are adding a little light to the world one person at a time. 
So to each of you, I really want to say thank you so much for sharing the light. God bless.